If I told you that this was a lung, at first hand you might not believe me because uh, most of these uh, alveoli do not look like they have ever been very well aerated. I think you could appreciate the fact that uh, some alveoli have air spaces. Uh, most of them do not. Sometimes the medical legal question comes up in a newborn autopsy is, did this baby ever breathe? And one quick way of telling would be to take the lungs at autopsy and put them in water. And if they float, they probably have enough aeration in their alveoli to uh, stay at the top. If they were never expanded, uh, they usually sink to the bottom. Uh, these alveoli are not well aerated. In addition, there's gonna be something here which we probably noticed already Many of these alveoli have this proteinaceous hyaline material uh, which look membranous. These are hyaline membranes vastly throughout the alveoli. This is hyaline membrane disease. Uh, it's also, or more uh, recently called, uh, respiratory distress of the newborn. And it's completely related to how well the fetal lung is developed because in very, very uh, premature lungs, this uh, surfactant material uh, does not work properly, but it still coats the alveoli, and this is what uh, prevents the lungs from functioning properly. In a more mature lung, more towards the uh, term part of the pregnancy, you would not expect to find these. But needless to say, probably in the vast majority of uh, fetal respiratory distress syndromes related to prematurity or immaturity and respiratory problems, you're gonna find these collections of uh, surfactant material uh, in the lung. And these are the hyaline membranes of hyaline membrane disease. Thank you very much.